Hi, I'm Tim Berglund with Confluent. I'd like to give you a quick tour of Confluent Control Center. I'm using the Control Center demo that's on GitHub at Confluent Inc. slash CP demo. We've got a whole separate video showing you how to get all that stuff set up. Make sure you watch that video and follow along with the steps if you haven't yet. Let's go to Control Center in Google Chrome. I'm assuming that you're brand new to Control Center, and my goal is not to show you every last feature of the whole program. Honestly, I think that would be a little mean, but really just to help you get your feet wet with the basics. After we're done with this intro, you should be able to proceed through the rest of the playbook videos and work through all of the various interesting scenarios that they present. Right here is the opening page, better known to the world as the System Health View. You can see the summary of cluster-wide details, and of course you can drill down per broker and per topic into those details if you'd like. Over on the left, there are important system health indicators, including things like the number of brokers in a cluster, which in this case is two, uh, Zookeeper connection status, and things like that. Now, very important is under-replicated topic partitions or offline topic partitions. Under-replicated or offline partitions can impact data durability if there are multiple broker failures. That's a thing you'd wanna pay attention to. If those values are non-zero, it should stick out to you and maybe make you a, a little anxious or at least anxious enough to wanna to investigate. Now, over on the right are two charts for aggregate cluster throughput. The left chart is showing what's written to the cluster, that is what's produced to the cluster. The right chart is showing what's consumed or what's fetched from the cluster. And we can scroll down for per broker metrics as well. Now, you might want a topic-centric view. That seems like a perfectly natural thing to want to do. And we can see that here. You can see all the topics in the cluster and metadata for each one of them as well. Things like number of partitions, replication factor, and so on. Let's pick uh, Wikipedia bot, uh, that topic, and drill down into it. We can see more information specifically for this topic. Looks like it has two partitions and it tells which brokers hold those two partitions and if those brokers are in sync. Under data flow, we can see that there is one consumer group, just a single consumer group consuming from the topic. Now let's look at Kafka Connect management. Remember that in our demo environment, we have a source Kafka Connect connector pulling information about wiki page edits from the Wikimedia Foundation from an IRC channel. And there's a sync connector publishing data in a Kafka topic to Elasticsearch. Check out the sync connector there named Elasticsearch KSQL. There are interceptors running on the connectors which let Control Center monitor their performance. That's pretty cool. In the stream monitoring view, we can see aggregate stream information, including throughput and latency, which would be handy things to look at if you had to do something like make sure that you're meeting application SLAs, which is a very normal monitoring sort of task. You can hover over the graphs to see actual values. Specifically here, you see a count of messages that occur during a window and an average latency. The top line of the bar graph indicates the expected consumption, which is determined by looking at messages produced within a given time frame. Blue bars indicate those messages that were consumed, and red bars indicate that there is over or under consumption within that given time frame. Now, exactly how to troubleshoot those problems, uh, those are episodes elsewhere in this series. So we'll look at how to go into those details later. Scrolling down, we see different consumer groups. Here's the Connect Elasticsearch KSQL consumer group, and we can see the Connect performance uh, in that group. Over on the right, clicking on View Details, we can see more, well, details on the consumer group. It looks like this group has one consumer. It's consuming from the topic Wikipedia bot, and it's consuming from both partitions. All right, back to the system health view, you can identify performance bottlenecks by looking at the request latency lifecycle. Latency is measured from client to broker on both the produce and the fetch side, and problems here are clearly gonna cause performance problems elsewhere in your system. And of course, we've got another video elsewhere in the series that drills down into that. So there is a quick tour of Confluent Control Center. As always, I've just given you the basics, but if you've got these in your back pocket, you're ready to work through the rest of the troubleshooting scenarios in the series.